Hey guys, I woke up not too long ago <clears throat> having my breakfast now with uh, some water. Stay hydrated. And this is oatmeal. I just posted a picture of this onto Instagram, which I'll include in this movie. Uh, oatmeal with frozen blueberries, flax, chia, pumpkin, raisins, and some cinnamon. Today's video. I want to talk about the third macronutrient, uh, fats. Where do I obtain my whole foods, plant-based fats? Now because fats make up such a small portion of this diet, or this lifestyle, I'll also include how much do I eat of each fat per week. So we'll start off number one, avocados. Uh, I eat about one of these a week. I might have half of an avocado on, let's say, a Monday with, uh, you know, let's say, let's say my sweet potatoes, and I might have the other half on Thursday. Um, you know, I put the other half in the fridge, have it on Thursday with, say, my rice or something like that. So one avocado a week. If my girlfriend's in town, I might make it two because these are her favorite, <laughs> one of her favorite uh, plant products. Let's see. Number two is. Let's go with the pumpkin seed. So I buy these pumpkin seeds uh, for bulk from Wegmans and uh, I really like them because they're high in iron. And I'll make another movie in a little while on iron and the importance of iron for endurance athletes. I like the taste too, it tastes kind of earthy. So pumpkin seed is where I get another source of fat from. And for these I might have the um, probably three to four tablespoons a week. I have them with my oatmeal. Um, number three is flax seeds, and I'll also just include chia seeds in there as well. So if these flax and chia, I get these as well from the bulk section of Wegmans, and uh, I eat about, we'll say in the neighborhood of three to four tablespoons a week. Again, I put one tablespoon of flax, uh, ch of chia, one tablespoon of flax in, in my um, coffee grinder, uh, grind it up fresh every day, add it to my oatmeal tastes great. You just have to add a little bit more water because of it. The powdery, the powderiness makes it makes the oatmeal really dry. Um, so there's that. Next one is these are sunflower seeds. Now the story behind this huge container is uh, about three weeks ago. I went to Wegmans. They were out of pumpkin seeds. I was out of pumpkin seeds, and I said, "Well, I want to get something a crunch, a little bit of fat." So I got the sunflower seeds, and then the next week they had pumpkin seeds. So I don't really eat these regularly. I might have a tablespoon or two a week, um, but uh, I'm gonna peck through this slowly. So uh, not really a big deal, not really a, a main staple of mine in terms of fats. Uh, a couple other ones, almonds. I really like almonds. They're a little bit expensive, but I usually put uh, you know a, a dozen or so in my oatmeal. So I might eat a couple dozen a week. Adds a good crunch as well. And the last one I have here in front of me is peanut butter um, or any kind of nut butter for those of you who like the almond butter. But again, um, with all of these, especially the peanut butter because it's kind of refined, is that high in fat, uh, keep, it to, keep it in moderation. And one suggestion for peanut butter is I would make my own. Um, I've, I made my own with my Blendtec blender. You can see one of those videos. I made a video on how to make the uh, peanut butter in the blender, and you can check it out on my channel. But those are my fat sources. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and let me know if you have any fat sources that aren't on here, perhaps coconut, um, and uh, write any questions or comments down below. And as always, stay healthy, my friends. Thanks for watching.